it's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a huge haul for you guys. I've been hoarding this stuff for about three months now. So I'm really excited to finally share it with you guys. I just haven't had a lot of time off to film videos between school and work. I've been really, really stressed out, but I'm really excited to finally get to show you guys the stuff that I have purchased. But yeah, so let's get right into it. I'm so excited. So this is my first item. This is uh, actually the most recent item I've purchased. I bought this last week <laughs> and it is from TJ Maxx. I got it on sale and it is just a noisemaker and I am in love with it and it will be featured in all of my videos from here on out because it is amazing. And it's, it's so funny like <laughs> Like that one okay so let's let's use that one to talk about my hair so two days ago I got my hair done by Jen at be seen salon and I love it yes I love it so much it is gorgeous it is like navy fading out into like this whitish silver blue color it looks like really white in the light and then sometimes it looks really dark and silvery and I just really love the navy tones. I was really nervous kind of when she said navy. I was like, yeah, just do whatever you want. But in, inside I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have navy hair, what? But no, it's so, I love it. I love it so much. If you guys live in Maryland or DC or Virginia or even really far away, you should just come down to like Rockville, Bethesda, Maryland area-ish place and go get your hair done by Jen. Their skills are insane. So you should definitely go check them out. So I've been really into handbags as of like <laughs> the last three months. And I think it really has to do with Kylie Jenner. This handbag game is on a thousand and I am in love with it. And so that made me really want to step up my handbag game. I was like, well, you know, I need a really nice handbag. So the handbag retails for around $649. I did not pay $649 for it. Um, I did pay a little bit less. And at the end of the day, it was an investment for me. And I'm, I work hard for my money. I go to school as well. And I think that I deserved something really nice. So the first bag is this Philip Lim bag, and I love it so much. I think it's so pretty. It's in this beautiful olive green khaki like color. It's so gorgeous. Little ball thing I got from eBay for a dollar. It's a crossbody. It's the mini Pashley, mini Pashley. I think that's how you say it. And I love it so much. It's so cute. I think this was a limited edition color. I don't think this was a color he makes all the time, but I could be wrong. I love the Gunsmoke hardware on it. That really pewtery silver is so pretty to me. I love the size. The size is perfect. The mini to me is like a regular size handbag. His large and his medium handbags are like really, really big. I love the zipper detailing on the side. You can zip it up if you want and you can zip it down. I like it zipped down because it gives it that like umbrella-y look like the Celine bags have and I love that. Okay, so it comes apart so you just take that little part off and it opens up like this. My only complaint is the way the bag is um, made to close. You open, you squeeze that to open it and then it opens like that. And there's a lot of room on the inside. There's this little flap for any extra like cards or anything you wanna put in there. However, when you close it, you really have to make sure it snaps. Did you guys hear that? That little snap or else it will stay wide open. And then if you wanna be extra safe, I just feel like this is like this little piece is so annoying to take off and on when I'm at the register trying to get my money out and pay. Um, but if you want to be extra secure and you're not going into your bag um, as often, just like close that little slip again. And it is so cute and it's so chic looking. This is the little case it comes in the bag case that you keep your nice little designer bags in. And then last week, I also thought, you know, Caitlin, you've been doing. 
a great job. You've passed almost all of your government tests and you're doing great at work. You won assistant manager of the month. You know, you deserve another award because you, you deserve a never, a never, a never, you deserve a never gift. You deserve another gift to yourself. I bought this lovely Marc Jacobs bag. I'm so happy about it. I got it on sale for my job, of course, but I got it on sale and it was originally $248. It went down to $148 and then I ended up paying for like, paying like a hundred bucks for it. I love this bag so much. It is so cute. It's a mini as well. It's a mini uh, Marc Jacobs like backpack type bag. I don't know the exact name of this bag because I kind of was just like, oh, I want it. So I just bought it. Um, it was the last one. It's so cute. Um, there's like that Marc Jacobs logo in like this metallic -y silver. It's really hard to read it. Um, but here it has like a whole bunch of this silver detailing with the black exposed like zipper. I really love this bag because it's a crossbody bag. It is not a backpack, but it has that backpack look, which gives it like a really sporty edge. Um, and the mini size I think is just perfect, at least for me, because I'm a smaller person um, with only being 4'11 and all. It just really, it's a good deal. And then here's the really pretty little Marc Jacobs bag for my bag. Now let's move on to swimwear. So I have been doing a lot of shopping for swimwear because I have a trip to Miami coming up in May. I have to learn all these buttons so that I can know which one to press. Let's see. I have a trip to Miami coming up in May, so I'm really excited about that. However, as you guys know, if you watched my last video with the, about the waist trainer, I'm really trying to get really fit, so trying to eat healthier is, a, is always difficult. So when I try on bathing suits and you're not at your ideal or at like the goal that you wanna be, it's always very stressful. So I feel like right now I'm in that stress mode. I feel like May is so soon, even though it's not really, but that's just how I feel. So I feel like, oh my God, I don't have much time to get into the best shape of my life. And the bathing suits I bought don't really look how I want them to look. So it is stressful. All the bathing suits are really cute and I do really like them. They just don't fit me how I'd like them to fit me. But I will show you guys. So the first one I got, I ordered from Shop Fly Nation. Um, they're like, they're an online store, but they're really promoted heavily through Instagram. They have a lot of girls that like promote them. So here are the bottoms to this bathing suit. And it, they look like thong bottoms, but they're not. My butt is covered, I promise. I was really nervous about buying a bathing suit that looked like this with all the cutouts and the high neck and all that stuff because it's just not typically something I would go for, especially being this bright, I'm not really a bright pink and blue kind of gal. Um, I'm typically always like black bathing suits, um, but I really do love that bathing suit a lot. I love the colors. It really reminds me of Miami, even though I've never been, it just reminds me of like flamingos and what Miami is talked up to be. So like 80s Miami kinda, and I really love it. And I think it looks relatively adorable on, it's not, the hottest bathing suit, but it is pretty cute. It retailed for around 22 bucks, I think. I think at the time Shop Nation, Shop Fly Nation was doing a sale. So I got this bathing suit, and I got my next bathing suit for very cheap, for like 22 bucks. However, it did take forever to get to my house. I noticed with all the bathing suits that I've purchased so far, it has taken almost a month to get to my house, which is very strange to me. But I guess that's what you get for when you shop at discounted stores. Here is the next bathing suit. It is this black one-piece bathing suit that is all like strappy and all this stuff. This one, I feel like I look like an encased sausage in. Like, I don't feel cute in it. But, I mean, it's okay. It's really like sexy on the model on the website. I just, I don't love it on me, but it's pretty cute and I don't know, I like it. It's, it's cute, but maybe in May I'll like it more. Next bathing suit I got is this one and you're probably like, what is that? That's just how the bathing suit, it's a string bikini. So there's the bottoms, there's the back. 
and here are the long tassels that hang off of it. It is so cute. I got it from Rose Gal. My shopping experience at Rose Gal is some crap. Just like everybody else's on YouTube, if you just type in Rose Gal Haul, they will tell you how crappy shopping from wholesale sites can be and how much pain and struggle it is. And I ordered this stuff in January and I got it last week. And it is March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. So, that, that's my struggle. Here is the top and they also have the long strings um, it, it's a really cute bathing suit. I believe it was 12 bucks. Um, the only downfall about the bathing suit, it has no lining. So it's like, you get really close. You're like, is that a nipple? Is it, is it a nipple? I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that's a nipple. So I've been trying to like find cute stuff to wear to work. And Zara just opened up, um, in the mall that I work at. So. I have been going to Zara for almost everything. And it's actually not a skirt, it's a skirt. Hello, those are shorts. It has these cute pockets in the front. It's navy blue, which I love because it can, do, it can go winter, spring, summer, fall. Navy is just one of those amazing dark colors that will go everywhere with you. So I love this skirt. Bought this amazing top I just couldn't pass up. I love it so much. Look at that back detailing. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. Top retail for $35.90. I believe the skirt was the same, um, but I love this shirt. Next item I got was also from Zara. I bought them at the same time. This is the top, and it has this really amazing like leathery, it's not real leather, but like that faux leather piping on the sleeves and on the neckline. And then here are the shorts that match it. I believe both items were $35.90, sold as separate. It is a set though, and I love it. I love the tweed, I love everything about this set. It really gives me Jackie O. It really gives me like, it makes me feel like, I don't know, a politician's, a politician's wife. No, it makes me feel like really pretty and really girly and really classic, like classic 1950s. I don't know, that's just what it gives me. I love it. Here is the next item I got. And this, the reasoning behind purchasing this lovely, gorgeous maxi dress was one, it was a maxi dress that I got from, I got this from ASOS. I bought this from ASOS. It's a maxi dress from their petite section which I was like, oh my God, a petite maxi dress. This is gonna fit me perfectly. Uh, no. No, 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 no. This would be a perfect turn for my, my button. Where's my button? No, no, it did not fit me perfectly. I was still too short to wear it. So it is still way too long. However, I love it. It gave like the feels, the vibes, the, the way I feel about it, it makes me feel like, remember how Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen used to always wear really oversized dresses and they would be really long and they'd look like almost homeless, but not like homeless chic, like Nicole Richie, you know, like homeless chic, bohemian type. That's what this was giving me. And I was like, I wanna be Nicole Richie, Mary Kate, Ashley Olsen, bohemian chic, homeless hippies. And I love it. I live for it. It, it inspo on a thousand. So that's why I bought this and I wear it to work, but I have to wear heels with it because I'm still way too short. Now, if anybody knows me and I'm trying to get you guys to know me, you guys would know that I love the Kardashian family. I love to keep up with the Kardashians. I've been keeping up with the Kardashians since it started and I love their style and as of lately, they've been really into Naked Wardrobe, which is an online site. Naked Wardrobe has never been extremely expensive and I really like that about them. The dress I'm about to show you is I believe $38 and they always do sales. If you follow them on Instagram, they always uh, have promotional code for um, like Tuesdays, they'll do like $25 Tuesdays or they'll do like free shipping or they'll do 15% off Fridays. They're always trying to get your money and I've always been like, you know, 
I, I love the I love the stuff and it's not that expensive, but you know, it's so basic I can find it anywhere else. Why why give naked wardrobe my money? Well, I was watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians and I saw Courtney Kardashian. Um, it was the episode when I guess their mom wanted them to go to counseling and then their mom didn't even show up to counseling and so they're pranking their mom back, like doing their own kind of counseling. They like threw pies in her face. So yeah, it was in that episode and Courtney is wearing this dress by Naked Wardrobe in black. And I also purchased it in black, but I wore it, so it's in the wash. I love this dress. I'm so happy I bought this dress. It's called it, I think it's called the up to here dress. And the slit in this dress literally goes up to there. But now I realize why you should order from Naked Wardrobe. I realize the hype on it. I realize why you buy the basics from Naked Wardrobe. The quality of these products. The, the amount of time it took to get to my house. Everything about this company and about their products was fabulous. And it fits so right. It, it really hugs you in the right place and sucks in the things that you don't want to be hanging out. And it is amazing. And I ordered it, like, I guess on like a Wednesday and I got there by Friday. That's what I love. I love quick shipping, because I'm so impatient. I love quick shipping, and I love great quality product, and that's what Naked Wardrobe gave me. So, Naked Wardrobe, you will re be receiving so much more of my money. You guys should be so proud of yourselves. Fabulous company, fabulous, yes, I love it. So, next item I got is more casual. I got this from my job, and I love it. It is this military style army green romper. And when I wear it, I haven't worn it yet, but when I try it on, I, I look like I run like a zoo or something. I don't know, I love it though. I think it's so cute and it's so chic and I like the, the waist. Um, it has a little drawstring waist so I can make it tighter. I bought it for my job so I did get a discount on it but it retails for $52 and I love it. I think it's so cute and all the detailing on it is adorable. The pockets, the the military style of it all, I, I love it a lot. This next top I've tried to wear out but it was just too cold to wear it so I ended up taking it off so now it's all like twisted. But it is this very cute I forgot how much I paid for this one and it's just like it's a cropped kind of top and it's just basic and classic yet still really girly I also got this amazing faux leather jacket it's top shop um, or vest rather it's a vest it is not a jacket there no sleeves um, I'm such a weirdo. Okay, anyways, I got this amazing vest and it's so heavy. I thought it was real leather, but it's not. And this won't be available at Nordstrom anymore and it won't be available online at Nordstrom. You might be able to find it at Nordstrom Rack or at Topshop um, on their website. It's originally 80 bucks and it was on sale for like 40, so I, I got it at 40 bucks because I wasn't paying 80 for it. Um, because I wasn't sure I would love it and I do. I think it dresses up any outfit, wear it out. I wear it out at night a lot to make myself look really edgy and cool, but I like it, I love it. I got this very cute, off the shoulder, bell sleeved romper from Topshop. If you guys, I don't know if you can see, but it is so like see-through, like you can see my hand. I'll probably wear it as a bathing suit cover up or just wear really dark underwear underneath of it, but I love it, I think it's so, so cute. As a lot of you know, I love Forever 21. I didn't ha I didn't buy too many items from them, but I did get this really cute crop top for only 10 bucks. And it's the only problem with it, it's sheer. There's no like underlining for it. It's just the sheer material. It can be off the shoulder or it could just chill on the shoulder. It's really just a sweet little, sweet little tank. And then I got these jeans. And these jeans are such a big deal to me. I am short, as everybody knows, because it's mentioned all the time. So I don't buy a lot of jeans 
from regular retailers. I buy a lot of my jeans specialty from like Topshop and stuff because you can get petite. Or I will try on jeans. These I saw in the store and picked them up at like the last minute. I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy these. I'm not gonna try them on, which was so risky, but they worked and they fit right. I'm so happy about that. So they have these frayed ends, which I love. Um, they remind me so much of the jeans that Kim Kardashian wore last year around this time by Mother Denim. I did some more shopping with Misguided. I got this t-shirt dress, which I thought was really cool. It's just so like, it's so dope. Like, it looks kind of like the Harley Davidson sign, but it's not. It's just this misguided, oversized, t-shirt dress is so cool with some black boots thank you guys so much for watching my video i really hope you enjoyed it sorry i rambled on forever some people like chatty videos and some people like more to the point videos so if you guys want to see more to the point videos let me know if you guys want to see more chatty videos let me know if you guys want to add me on snapchat go ahead and add me on snap but if you guys want to follow me on instagram Please feel free to. I will definitely love to see what you guys look like. And that would be rad if you guys would follow me. Please subscribe. Thumbs up. Any questions or anything like that, please put them in the comments. I would love to answer them. You guys have a great day. Bye.